Hey guys, how's it going? I got another unboxing and review video for you. This time it's on the View Loader Evolution 4, uh, also known as the Egg 4. And um, it comes in a nice little box, just like most of the new View Loader mark, uh, loaders come in. And just to be completely honest with you, I haven't been a big fan of the Egg line. Just I don't know if it was the design of them or the function. I think it was probably the um, the maintenance on them was such a pain in the ass. Um, but this is the new one. This is the Egg 4. And what really made me pick it up was the fact that this plastic here, this plastic is that old school uh, Revy kind type. It's, it's smoother. It doesn't have the texture to it. But it, it's that nice, thick, awesome stuff that doesn't want to break. You also get the cool polycarbonate uh, feed neck that doesn't break. I mean, I've had quite a few V-loader, and uh, I've never broken one of these. I don't know if I'm too good on my guns or hoppers, but I never broke them. Um, the, uh, it's still got the similar design in the, uh, uh, the, the gate where you know you just pour pods in there and it, it helps you funnel them in. Uh, this one seems like it's more robust uh, compared to like the Egg 3 version. Uh, I, I, it just feels tougher. I don't know if they beefed it up or not. And uh, the other thing I like is that it's one button operation. Okay, uh, You don't have to sit there and screw around with um, you don't have to sit there and screw around with uh, dials or settings or having a switch on the side like the previous ones where you accidentally click it on and off. But uh, one of the best features that I think uh, this loader has to offer are the, is the fact that it's an easy uh, field strippable design. You just pull two of the pins out and the top comes off. And if you guys have a uh, view loader iForce, uh, you might recognize that this is this design here. It seems like they they went and they upped the uh, the ante with this one because I liked I didn't mind the View Force uh, or the I Force. The only problems I had with it were the fact that you had to take screws out to get to the uh, batteries. This one, the Egg Four, really nice and simple. You could get to both the batteries. They just drop right in this tray and they're pretty secure. And uh, this has the same uh, paddle system as the iForce. And um, I've had really, you know, I, I never really had that many problems with them uh, in the past. So it's, you know, it's got a nice raceway in here. Uh, and um, another thing I'd like to show you on inside the actual hopper this is the bottom side. You see that blue stuff? Um, that goes on the it also goes on the inside of the floor of the uh, hopper itself. It, it, it's almost like a um, mouse pad material. And what I've noticed is that it dampers the sound of the paintballs as they don't, when they're bouncing around, they're a little bit muffled. Um, and the other thing is, too, when you're pouring paint, paint in there to reload, it seems to soften the blow of it. So you're, I've had it before where I dump paint in and it cracked inside my hopper. And, you know, it kind of ruins the rest of your game until you can clean it out. Um, I'm not really sure if that's going to help all that much, but I do notice that it muffles the sound a bit, and uh, any little bit of help you get <laughs> to uh, shoot the, uh, or, you know, to make sure paint doesn't break in your hopper is always good. So, anyway, I'm going to show you real quick. Uh, I'm going to load this thing up, and I am going to do a drop test. I'm sorry, I don't feel like going outside and doing a full marker test, but I will tell you this shoots about 18 balls a second. Uh, I could not shoot it, and second, and that was just in regular semi-auto, I wasn't, uh, I put, well, I take that back. I put this in uh, ramping on my Ego, Ego 10, and uh, it kept up with it. I wasn't shooting, I had my ball, I said it set at 15 balls a second in my ramping, so. Um, most places won't let you shoot any faster than that anyway. 
Oh crap. Right on the carpet. Anyway. I'll just try to get this chunk full. And oh, son of a gun. I keep dropping paint. Oh suck it. Excuse my language. All right. Well, you guys get the idea. Got my handy little cereal tote. That's what I use for carrying my paint. All right, just get these out of the way. I don't want to step on those. Okay, so I'm gonna put my thumb over it just a little, just to kind of give it a little bit of force because it's a force feed. Okay, and here we go, and we'll just kind of like watch them drop, alright? You ready? Alright. They're all out of there. Okay, so... You know, it, it dumps them out pretty fast. So, um, the other thing I noticed, we put, I put, uh, I don't know, about three hoppers full of uh, reballs through this already. And uh, it will jam up just a little, but what's nice about it is that this will unjam itself. So, if you're going to play reball, uh, you can play with reball with this. I've had quite a few hoppers in my quite a few hoppers and um, this will actually unjam itself I kind of show you it I'm not touching anything else it's 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 detecting a jam so it's trying to back itself out and uh, I don't have any rebels to show you but you know uh, this egg four they did a pretty nice job on it um, the only thing I have an issue with is the price? It's set. It's going for seventy nine ninety nine, which this is a good loader, but for seventy nine ninety nine, it's a little pro it's a little high because it, it it's competing with with its own line with other view loaders, and for just a couple let's see twenty bu twenty bucks more, you some guys would want to upgrade to the prophecy. Because you get those for a hundred bucks now. <coughs> um, but all in all, this is a cool, cool hopper. I, I'd use this in a heartbeat for woods ball, um, tournament ball. Uh, I don't know. You know, the only thing is, you could only get this in black, and some guys get all upset about that. But for woods ball, I'd use this in a heartbeat. I mean, it's very low gloss, so I mean, you wouldn't get that glare, and. Um, it feeds fast enough. I mean, pretty much anything you're gonna be shooting out there, it's gonna feed it. So, um, you know, go ahead and check these out. Uh, Seventy nine ninety five. It's a little high, but it is a good hopper, and I liked it. I picked one up because it, I just thought it was, I thought it was cool. So, all right, guys, thanks a lot. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.